Using an adenovirus isolated from a chimpanzee, scientists created essentially a plug and play vaccine that could and would eventually be combined with the protein, in this case, the spike protein that covers the surface of the coronavirus. The architect of Oxford University's COVID-19 vaccine says it was the deadly Ebola outbreak that motivated their team to work on a vaccine for yet to be known future viruses. We're lucky that we have a lot of the, uh, the data that we've saved from previous epidemics in the past to draw from. San Antonio Marine Carlo Nino understands the critical nature of preparing for a pandemic. His work wasn't in a lab, rather on the ground in Liberia, Africa in 2014. What I do remember doing was building something like a, uh, a small projection for how many supplies we were going to need to stay ahead of the amount of the death rate at that time. Nino was a contract worker called in to help build mass graves for the victims being ravaged by the Ebola virus. A large burial site that would meet with hygiene and not spread contagion and was done by the numbers, by the book, uh, Sanitary for the Environment. He recalls seeing people dying in the streets, entire villages wiped out in a matter of months. Internal organs begin to liquefy and you begin hemorrhaging blood from your ears, from your eyes, from your nose. 11,000 lives were lost due to the highly contagious virus. What was deadly about it was is that it could last for up to 30 days on a dry or wet surface, on a doorknob, it was just ubiquitous. Contact tracing revealed transportation to be a spreader of the virus. And what we learned for the vector-borne disease, as it was at the time, was that uh, it was being transmitted in and out of the communities via uh, small motorcycle taxi drivers. The loss suffered in Liberia highlighted the world's pandemic preparedness shortcomings, but it also compelled scientists to begin paving the path forward in advance of the next crisis. I'm News 4 troubleshooter April Molina.